folks, my name is Gary. Today is Tuesday, the 16th of uh, April, 2024. This is episode 17 of The Joy of Shaving. I've got a few announcements to make, but to get things started, folks, we've got my shave scuttle, <coughs> excuse me, shave scuttle and the uh, uh, hot towel out of the microwave. They were in the microwave for about a minute. So we're just gonna unravel this and we're gonna get heating up the face a little bit, folks. <coughs> Oh yes, towel is good and hot. Oh yeah, I don't want to press that on my skin right away. It's too hot, a little bit too hot. We'll just fluff it up and let it cool down a bit. So in my last Joy of Shaving video, I talked about uh, reducing the videos down to around 10 minutes because it seemed that uh, a lot of viewers were only watching about five minutes of the video. But I have dug into the statistics a little bit deeper. Oh, that feels good, folks. Very good. Drip. I'm dripping water. I better drip into the sink here. Uh, and I think the statistics, uh, you know, there are, as the old saying goes, folks, there are lies, there are damn lies, and then there are statistics. And I think what is happening, I think a lot of the uh, shaving buddies and uh, people that enjoy these types of videos are watching most of the video. But you get a lot of people that just click on the video and they go, oh, shaving video, not my cup of tea, and they click off the video. And I think that is uh, shrinking the watch time. So that when you look at the actual watch time, that's reducing the watch time and it makes it look like uh, people are only watching a few minutes of your video. So I got uh, uh, more feedback for people saying that they uh, preferred the videos stay uh, stay the way they were and that's what's good that's what i'm going to do i'm going to leave the videos at uh, 20 minutes and i'll tell you why the reason i started i don't know how many episodes i figured i would do the joy of shaving series of videos the joy of shaving i figured i'd do these videos for about a year see how it was going and decide where i was going to go from there Uh, and so part of the joy of shaving, folks, is that I, it's that 20 minutes every morning that I take. It uh, only takes me uh, about, this one might take a little longer because I'm yapping, but in general, it takes me 20 minutes to shave like royalty in the morning. 20 minutes. So rather than try and reduce the videos and cram everything down into 10 minutes, I want to keep things uh, natural so that people can see that... Uh, if they just set 20 minutes aside in the morning, that you can shave pretty much like a Roman god if you want to. Okay, we'll put that away. My face is cooling off here because I'm talking too much. So we're going to start. We're going to use some Fender Hands Bergamot uh, pre-shave oil. We'll get that on the face. So uh, anyways, in view of all these uh, things, folks, I've decided to... Uh, Leave the videos the length they are, because that is the joy of shaving. The joy of shaving is not racing around with like a chicken with your head cut off, trying to get my shave done in, in 10 minutes or less. That's not the joy of shaving. The joy of shaving is being able to relax, pamper your face. Oh, this stuff smells good. I love this smell of bergamot in the morning. Oh, that's a thick oil. Very thick oil, but it works very well. Okay, folks, I gotta go wash the oil off my hand. That's the one drawback of the oil. I'm gonna go wash my hands off, folks, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I got my hands all cleaned off, uh, and it is time to uh, dump out the water in the shave scuttle. The shave scuttle is all ready to go, folks. So without further ado, I'm gonna be using my favorite Fender Hands bergamot scent. And I'll turn the other camera on. Turning the camera on, there we go. Okay, camera on. And I will get my trusty, world famous guitar pick. This one is Scarlet Red, Scarlet Red. And we're gonna use a little titanium white, a little titanium white bergamot. And we're gonna use about that much there, just a little bit on the guitar pick. About that much there. Are you focused? Get into focus. Focus. I just want to focus. There you go. Okay, it's focusing. All right, throw that in the shave scuttle, folks. 
Yes, the Donner 0.71 millimeter guitar pick works just wonderful for scooping out your lather. Okay, so I hope everybody's having a good week. It's Tuesday, Monday's behind you. So I thought I'd tell you guys a story about when I was on life support and all that. Uh, when I came off of life, spent 10 days on life support. Uh, with I had a, a case of uh, pancreatitis, chronic pancreatitis with uh, ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. And uh, so consequently, after that situation of being on life support, I was on quite a few meds. And one of the meds they put me on was blood thinners using my uh, Fender Hands High Mountain White Badger Brush. Now I want to tell you, my scuttle, the scuttle will keep lather in, folks. If I use my Simpsons T3 brush, the lather does not go over the sides of my bowl. But when I use this big fat Badger Brush and, and it gets splayed out, it does press the uh, soap out of the bowl. So it's just uh, a matter of the brush I use. Okay, here we go. Let's get whipping up this lather here. So anyways, they put me on blood thinners and they couldn't get my, they call it the INR. I forget what it's supposed to be between, but uh, they're trying to get your INR stable. Well, they tried and tried and they told me I'd go to the lab three times a week for a while, then once a week and then once a month. Well, I'm telling you three years into it, three years later, folks, and I'm still going to the lab three times a week. I went to the lab, I was going to the lab so often that the girls at the lab, I kid you not, I'm not making this up, the girls at the lab actually sent me a Christmas card one year because I was at the lab so much, we got to know each other so well. <clears throat> and they felt sorry for me having to come to the lab uh, uh, so often, but the reason is they could not get my INR stable. They just, I think three years in and they still couldn't get my INR stable. I'm going way out of camera here. We get our lathering camera for you folks here. All caught up in my story and I'm not watching what I'm doing. So anyways, finally one day came and they sent me to see the uh, blood specialist, the hematologist, I think they're called, uh, blood specialist at the big hospital in the big city. They sent me there and the guy looks at me across the desk and he says, are they trying to kill you in St. Thomas? And I looked at him and I said, they might be, they might be. So anyways, I spent three years going through hell going to the lab three times a week. They could never get it stable, so they kept sending me to the lab. I see the specialist and he pulled me off blood thinners right away, off them entirely. And I've never had to be on blood thinners again since, so what a pain in the ass that was. I was constantly going to the lab, coming from the lab. Our lather's looking good. I'm just continuing to dribble in water while I yap. Trying to remember to keep you in frame over here on the uh, Nikon. And I said, this, this this big fat badger brush, she just pushes the lather out over the sides, but I can live with it because I uh, would rather have a little bit of a messy bowl and a warm lather than uh, no mess and no hot lather. Okay, get that down in there heating up and we clean it up as I go. You know the drill, you know the drill. Okay, let's get some lather on the face, folks. Get this thing, get this, oh, it does it every time. That warm lather, folks, you can't beat it. Listen to the action of this brush. Mm. Bar none, my favorite brush. Squeegee's broken today. Must have to put a new blade in it. Okay, folks, I'm going to be shaving with the Rockwell 6S on plate number two still. And this is my fourth shave with an Astra blade in it. I've been shaving with uh, this blade since Sunday. Or no, since before then. So it's, uh, it's its fourth use anyway. I've got a little... Got a system worked out here to keep track of how often I've used my blades. All right, folks, let's get going here. I'm going to do it. You know what? I'm going to do it in long, big strips today. Big strips. 
see if I can't infuriate some of the more systematic shavers out there. I'm gonna go all, oh, all the way down the neck. Yeah, boy, those shaving oils do work better. Look at that. Just taking it off in big swaths. Go. We'll try that on the other side. Here, look, make sure I'm not cutting my sideburn off. Big long bacon strips. Uh, hoping I don't come out looking like handbook. Apparently there's other drugs now called, uh, such as drugs like Plavex and whatnot, where you don't need to have your INR tested uh, daily, or sorry, weekly, or monthly, or whatever your routine is. When you switch to Plavex, you don't have to uh, go get your INR tested. It works differently. So for my subscribers who enjoyed the longer videos, uh, you will continue to enjoy the long videos. You know, and if you really, if it, you know a 20 minute video is bothering you and that's too long for you, you can always jump ahead in the video. You can jump ahead in the video or you can, you can try and find somebody that's doing a good shave in 10 minutes. But I don't want to deceive you and think that you can get a three pass shave done in 10 minutes when it's really going to take you 20 minutes. It's a, it's a 20 minute operation. Some folks can take as long as a half hour, but me, I can get it done pretty much in 20 minutes. Unless I'm yakking to you guys or extremely hungover. Uh, got no beers today. There'll be a no, this will be a dry shave. There'll be no beers. Okay, here we go. Second pass, folks. Oh, that lather. You guys have got to get on the warm lather kick. It's the way to go. Mmm, my God, this soap is good. And the T3 is a good brush, but this Fender Hand Time Mountain White is better. It's also about twice the price, but it is a better brush. Absolutely fell in love with it when I got it. Yeah, squeegee's definitely broke today, folks. <coughs> okay, here we go, cross grain. Yeah, I got digging into just how this watch time is calculated. As I say, lies, damn lies in statistics, because it makes all the difference in the world how the statistics are actually calculated. And then I just thought of it, it's the joy of shaving. It's not the let's rush around and see if I can get this done in 10 minutes to get to work shave. It's the joy of shaving, which is a nice relaxed shave, so that's what we're going with, the nice relaxed shave. Oh, this is a great razor. Glad I picked up the Rockwell, it's been a trooper of a razor. My uh, block of alum went for a, uh, tried to escape. It's a, either that or it's suicidal. It was a jumper anyway. Jumped right out of my hands for the third final time. My uh, block of alum uh, became uh, little bits and pieces of alum because it uh, jumped right out of my hands like a fish and shattered on the porcelain sink. So uh, not to worry, we've got 
We've got a backup. I have a brand new Osma. This is the Osma from France uh, solid block of alum. And I've taken the gentle, the fellow's suggestion, and I've got an elastic band for no slip grip for my alum block. So I'll be using that after I'm shaving here. Okay, let's get our third and final batch of lather on the face. Nice thick cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, call that good. A little back buffing. Under the nose. Uh, oh, uh, looks like there's a small happy accident right there. Nothing to worry about. All right, let us check and see how we've done, folks. Oh yeah, all right, we're gonna call that good. I'm gonna pull the plug on this operation. I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Okay, gang, I'm back. We got the sink and everything cleaned up. But we're not making a big mess. And now we're gonna try out that little Allen block I've got. And we'll see if we can't just go over the uh, face with this guy. Here it is. Get some water on him. Oh, it <laughs> feels, feels so different to have such a large block to hang on to again. My little Allen block is getting pretty, pretty tough to hang on to. Oh, this works good with the elastic, guys. Good idea. So I'm going to make these joyous shaving videos. My plan is to, to go one year with them anyways and see where we are at that, at that point with it. Maybe they'll continue on with the same format. Maybe I'll change things. But for at least a year, I want to do joyous shaving videos and just have nice, relaxing uh, shaves uh, that are about uh, taking the time to pamper yourself. Okay, folks, we're going to call that good. All right, we'll put the old Allen block away. I like to stall for a second or two while I've done that so that the alum has a bit of time to set up and work. Good old alum. And the uh, Osma from France is a solid block of alum. Some of them are like crystals that have been compressed together to form a block. And uh, when you drop those ones, they really shatter. So, Okay, I'm just going to uh, rinse my face off, folks, and put some balm on. Today I will be using the products from Crown Shaving Co. out of Toronto, Canada. Their products are available on Fendra Hand, or at least they are on the Canadian site. I'm assuming they're on the American site. Fendrahand.com is the American site. Fendrahand.ca is the Canadian. Okay, here we go. This is the Crown Aftershave Bomb. It's got uh, witch hazel and a bunch of other good stuff. It says it's for vagabonds, gentlemen, and ruffians. There you go. It says so right in the label. And you only need about that much. As you can see, it's a fairly rich cream. It's not running down my hand like some other products. And it goes on fairly light. There's no real scent to this stuff. can feel the witch hazel doing its thing. Or at least I'm assuming it's the witch hazel I'm feeling. All right. 
Okay, we'll wash the old hands off one more time. Today I'm also going to be using the Crown Travel Size Signature Blend. This is their Signature Blend Cologne and it's a roll-on. What is this? A 10 milliliter bottle. It's not very big, but this stuff, a little dab of this stuff goes a long way. It's a, it's a potent mixture that uh, lasts a long time and it's a roll-on. So. There you go. A little dab will do you. Uh, this Crown Signature Blend, and this stuff's not cheap either. Uh, the Crown products are not the cheapest products, but they do seem to work fairly well. So uh, I've been trying them out, uh, and I like them. I like them. They're just pricey, that's all. Okay, folks, well, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for taking the time to uh, uh, watch my videos. And if you like the 20 minute format, you're in luck because we're going to continue on with that. Thank you everybody for watching episode uh, 17 and I will see you guys on Thursday for episode 18. Bye for now everyone.